Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple DIY cladding plate with using a few simple parts, such as an audio amplification circuit. Let's get started. And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is some very fine beach sand, these rubber stompers that will go on all four corners of this 8 ohm 15 watt speaker, which will then control the vibration and not cause it to move everywhere. And you're also going to need this metal plate that comes from a 3D printer. And these are the electronics you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need a 220 ohm resistor, a 22 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, an 8 pin IC socket holder an LM386 audio amplifier, and a 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And this right here is the schematic that you're going to need to make for this audio amplification circuit. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First you're going to need to take your IC socket holder and place it in the center of the perf board. Solder one pin into place, hold the IC socket holder flat and then remelt the solder. That way everything is flush to the board and now solder the rest of the pins into place. And it should look just like that. Next, you're gonna to need to take your 220 ohm resistor and place it onto pin two and three. Bend the leads over, solder bridge it together, cut off the leads, and it should look just like this. Next, you're going to need to take your 22 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, where this side is a negative and this side is positive. What you need to do is connect the negative to pin 4 and the positive to pin 3. Just like that, push it in and bend it over. Bend over the leads so you can solder bridge them together. Just like that. Cut off the leads and it should look just like this. Next, take your 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor and connect the negative to pin 5. Bend the leads over solder it into place, and then solder bridge it together. Next, you're going to need to take your negative wire, solder it to pin 2, and then solder it to pin 4. Take your 9 volt battery connector, connect the positive to pin 6, solder bridge it to 6. Take the negative of the battery clip and connect it to pin 4. Solder it into place. Now take your audio jack, and the green is negative and the red is positive. Solder the green negative to pin 2. and then solder the red positive to pin 3. Next, take your LM386 microcontroller and place it into its socket. And there you have it, the circuit is almost complete. Solder the blue to the negative, which is pin 4. Then solder the green wire to the positive of the 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And there, the circuit is now complete, and it should look just like this. And I'll take the output wires and solder it to the speaker. However, polarity doesn't matter. And there, the circuit is now complete. Next, I'm going to take these rubber stompers, place them on all four corners of the speaker, Next, take the speaker and place it on the center of this metal plate. 
Right here looks like the center. Flip it over. And now take a 9 volt battery, plug it in. And now take the audio jack and connect it to my phone. And now open up a frequency generator app. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Set it at 200 hertz. And I can feel the vibration. That's very good. And I'm going to take the fine beach sand, sprinkle it on top. Turn on the frequency generator. And as you can see, it kind of works. What I've noticed is on the surface area of the speaker, it seems to be too wide, not very concentrated, so it's not causing enough vibrations on this metal plate. So what I need to do is modify it by taking this screw. So I'm going to take the screw, jab it in the middle, and then screw it into the speaker. Carefully, don't make the hole too big, so that way it can have a nice tight fit. And now just simply screw it into place. Screw it into place to have the right measurement. And now take the metal plate and put it on top. And now let's go ahead and test it out. And as you can see, this works a lot better. Very nice. Still not very satisfied though. So what I need to do is modify it again. Unfortunately, I'm not really liking the results this is giving. So I'm going to try taking a strong near dominion magnet, place it directly onto the screw. And since this is magnetic, it should be able to make good contact. Screw this down just a little bit. And now, this should be practically attached to this, which should give a better result. There, now, let's try this again. I'm going to go down to 60 hertz, because 60 hertz seems to have a very nice frequency. It seems to be a very nice frequency. So as you can see, it's 60 hertz. Add some more sand. And now let's see if that works better. Ooh, nice. Wow. The iron that's in the sand is concentrated in the center. That's interesting. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just play around with the frequencies and just see how it changes as I move it back and forth really fast. 60 hertz. This is 100 hertz. 100 hertz makes that interesting pattern. Interesting. All right, let's go to... this magnet part though, but look at these patterns right here. And this is at 170 hertz. Maybe so if I put more sand you can be able to see it better. Right. Now let's see what 220 hertz looks like. That's 220 hertz.
160 hertz looks the best. this plate might be too thick. If I had a thinner plate, it could be able to make more vibrations, which will then allow me to create more patterns with different frequencies. So what I'm going to do is revisit this project in the future and improve it by using a thinner plate and a better speaker. So that way I can make more unique patterns from different kinds of frequencies. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own DIY Gladney plate with using a few simple parts. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.